Model engineering for beginners. This one is part 52, twist drills and tapping. This is not a long video and some experts will obviously disagree with the content of this video. Once again, please excuse my voice, I'm still feeling quite ill. On screen there are two boxes of twist drills. One is an imperial set on the left and on the right is a metric set. I have a much better set of metric drills in my workshop. This metric drill set is a jobber's drill set and it doesn't contain enough twist drills. It just has the common sizes, which is okay for general work. The set on the left, however, contains all the sizes that I need. It's an imperial set, so you may be thinking, imperial in 2023? Well, yes. I work in imperial usually for two reasons. One is, that's what I was taught at school, and the other one is, all the parts that I normally work on are imperial sizes. The common sizes that I work with are ME sizes, ME stands for model engineering or model engineer, and BA sizes, and that stands for British Association. The drill bit that I'm pointing at at the moment is one eighth of an inch in diameter, and this is tapping size for 4BA. Assuming that you know how to use a computer, if you open Google in your browser and in the search box type BA thread tapping sizes, you should find quite a lot of information and you can print out these charts and pin them on your wall. For ME and BA sizes, I follow the teachings of LBSC from many years ago and he always used to say that the tapping size was two imperial sizes down from the diameter of the tap that you're going to use. For a 5 30 seconds of an inch thread, whether it's an ME thread, or in this case 4BA, you would use a 1 8 of an inch diameter twist drill for the tapping size. The chart that I have pinned to my workshop wall that I downloaded off the internet has clearance sizes as well as tapping sizes, and this is very useful. As you can see here, when I substitute some imperial drill bits for the metric ones, the sizes are very close. But when it comes to drilling holes tapping size or even clearance size, the need to be correct. For instance, 1 eighth of an inch imperial is exactly the same size as 3.1 millimeters. Unlike 22 over 7, which is the value of pi, also known as 3.14159, depending on how many decimal places you want to take it to. It's permissible, I suppose, to use a 3 mil drill bit as tapping size for 4BA, but 3.1 is 1 eighth, and that's what I would go for. I bought this Imperial drill set recently, and it wasn't cheap, but the good news is the drill bits are very well made and cut beautifully. I haven't gone mad, I'm removing the drill bits from the front line so you can see what's behind. For instance, if you want to use an ME tap of 5 sixteenths of an inch diameter to make a thread, I would normally use a 9 30 seconds of an inch twist drill which is tapping size for 5 sixteenths. Similarly, if I want to thread a hole 3 8 of an inch in diameter, I would use an 11 30 seconds of an inch diameter drill. I don't want to get the fingers of all the expert trolls twitching, so all I can really say is go online and download a chart, then you can use exactly the size of twist drill for a tapping size hole in a piece of metal for any given size of tap. I will continue to do it the way I've done it for years because it works for me. I've made quite a lot of things and nothing's fallen from together because the threads have been wrong. Here I'm putting the twist drills back in the box and the good thing is they will only fit in the hole that they're supposed to fit. So this box is quite a good gauge for drill sizes. I would just like to mention that I only use the two imperial drill sizes down for ME or BA threads. For threads like BSP, British Standard Pipe, or Whitworth, which have very coarse threads on them, I would definitely have to look at a reference chart. But for things like this, and this is a 4BA tap, it's definitely 1 8 of an inch diameter tapping size for me. I do like this twist drill set. You can actually see the sizes stamped heavily into the shank. These, by the way, are high-speed steel drill bits, so they should last quite a long time. A word about clearance sizes. 
The clearance size for a 4BA bolt is 9 64ths of an inch, which is one imperial size above the tapping size. But sometimes for clearance size, I would go to 5 32nds of an inch. It's not always a good idea in some applications to make everything a perfect fit. I bought these drill sets for my second workshop, but I think the one on the left I'm going to take up to the main workshop where the lathes are. If you're an experienced model engineer, or an expert, or you work in the field of engineering, I'd just like to say that I made this video because so many people write in asking me the simple questions that I've just answered within this video. And that is it for this one. I'm currently right in the middle of doing a full install of a new computer for the studio, and it's taking forever. And it's also convenient because, to be honest, I do feel quite ill. I may try a bit of machining later on today, but don't count on it. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.